One of the most powerful tools that you can use when converting your images from color to grayscale is the Targeted Adjustment tool. You can select the Targeted Adjustment tool, or you can tap one of these shortcuts depending on which version of the tool you want. There's a Targeted Adjustment tool that will allow you to change the parametric curve, the hue, saturation, luminosity of an image, or the grayscale mix. That's the one that we want. As soon as I select grayscale mix, you'll notice that Camera Raw has converted my image to grayscale, and it's brought up the correct panel for me. The targeted adjustment tool allows me to click in any tonal range, or really color range, because Camera Raw is only displaying this as a black and white image, but all the color is still in the original file. So the targeted adjustment tool allows me to click anywhere in the image. It samples that color, and then depending on if you drag up or down, it will select the corresponding sliders and change the way those colors are converted to grayscale. The reason that I like this tool so much is because of two reasons. One, I don't have to know what the original color is in the image. If I want to change something, all I need to do is click and then drag up and down in order to change it. And the second reason is because the target adjustment tool will select the corresponding sliders. So if I click on a color that's made up of more than one color, instead of me sitting here and manually seeing which color is affected, if the color is made up of two colors, it will go ahead and change both of those sliders for me. So if I click in the green grass, because I think it's green, well, Camera Raw is going to help me out by also moving the yellow slider because the grass is made up of a combination of both green and yellow. If I click in the background and drag down, you can see that there's a lot more orange in the dirt area, so it will modify that color range for me. Another interesting effect might be to simply decrease some of the colors in the image, but not take the image completely to black and white. If I select one of the other targeted adjustment tools, for example, the saturation targeted adjustment tool, you'll notice that Camera Raw automatically brought me back to color. And now when I click and drag down, you can see that it's changing the saturation in the tonality and colors that I click. So if I wanted to desaturate the red a little bit and maybe desaturate the yellows a bit, I can go ahead and just click and drag in that color range. So now I've got not a black and white image, but a desaturated image that kind of gives me a different feel to the photograph, making it look a little bit more aged. You might also want to try removing all of the color in all of the color ranges. So for example, in the greens and in the yellows, but then leave just one color here in order to isolate a subject or draw the attention of the viewer to a specific part of your image.